252 Movie presents The Vow, based on the true story of how God showed his amazing love to the world. Action! Is this the first Christmas Segway tour? This is where the brochure told us to go. The tree at the bottom of the hill. Are we late? I don't think so. Ed Johnson, this is my wife Katie. Hi. Pleased to meet you. Brad, hi. Are you our guide? No, no, I'm just here for the tour. I guess our tour guide's late. Late, you say? I never run late. Who's here for the first Christmas Segway tour? Then what are we waiting for? Let's Segway! I said let's Segway! supposed to have Segway. The first Christmas. We've all heard the stories, but few really get the whole picture. For instance, we all know that Joseph and Mary had to travel from Nazareth to Bethlehem, but not many people know what a trip like that must have felt like. But you will. To Bethlehem! Here we are, Bethlehem, also known as the City of David, for this is the town in which the great Israelite king was born many years before. The great Roman emperor, Caesar Augustus, made a law saying that everyone in the Roman world had to be counted, so each family had to return to their ancestral home in order to take part in the census. Joseph, being a descendant of King David, also returned to Bethlehem, which is where we are now. But we're not in Bethlehem, we're actually in... Kansas. Who's driving the Segway? You are. I am. Thank you. So, Joseph and Mary returned to Bethlehem. Oh, and did I mention that Mary was with child? What is this? Your baby. You're also going to be playing the part of Mary on this tour. I can't carry this whole tour. It's, it's too heavy. Ah, yes. Now you know what Mary must have felt like making this journey while nine months pregnant. To the end. We did pay for the full experience. We're here. Uh, where are we? The inn. This doesn't look like The inn. To have a hearty meal and to enjoy a rejuvenating glass of freshly drawn well water. To sit back, relax, and rest our weary feet. Oh, thank goodness. Mm. My back is killing me. Let's go. Unfortunately, the inn is all full. There's a lot of people in Bethlehem tonight, so the inn is all full up. We'll have to find somewhere else to rest. To the stables. <laughs> This is where it happened. I know. Just the thought of it makes your knees weak. Why here? Why not a palace surrounded by servants? This is hardly a fitting place for a king to be born. Sir! <laughs> Sir, Mr. Segway, can we please stop, please? Of course, it's time. <sighs> the baby was born that night. Mm. 
And since Mary and Joseph could not find room at the inn, they found shelter with the animals. They wrapped the baby in cloths and lay him in a manger. And just as the angels had told Joseph in a dream, they named the baby Jesus. Meanwhile, in a nearby field, angels appeared to the local shepherds saying, Glory to God in the highest! <laughs> The shepherds found the baby just as the angels had said they would, wrapped in cloths and lying in the manger. The shepherds knew that this baby was special, but what they didn't know, just how at that moment, was that this baby Jesus would one day be the savior of the world. This is how God showed his love for us. He sent his one and only son into the world he sent him so that he could give life to us through him. He sent his one and only son to give his life to pay for our sins. Which brings us to the next stop on our tour. You mean there's more? But we've seen so much already. There's always more. The first Christmas serves as a constant reminder of how much God loved us. And dear friends, since God loves us so much, Shouldn't we love each other? We're off to show the world how much we love them. Let's segue. Let's segue. <laughs>